She's caring, she's loving, she's a warm person. She she can be a little bit temperamental as as I remember in her teenage years and the rest of it. To be honest, it's not the first time that they've been married. They've been married five or six times on stage in Fiddler in the Roof. And that was sort of like, if you like, when they first met, yeah. really doing that, and then it's just progressed from there. Quite strange, really, quite surreal. It's, um, it, it's quite uh, an emotional day, of course, but so much is going on. Morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? Paul. It's warm in the church, sir. that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given. I, Sarah, take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this vow. In the presence of God I make this vow. I, Michael, take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife.
Well done, sir. Thank you. It's something Thank you. Sorry, you missed it. I didn't cry until you sang. Oh, no. Tell me how, how did that go for you? How did you feel? Lovely, that was good that. Uh, yeah, it was over quickly. I, uh, I didn't try anything. No you didn't. <laughs> you were three minutes late but we won't go there. So how are you both feeling? Good that, no I'm fine, I'm good. She was laughing and it was actually her laugh that got my uh, um, attention because I often think that comedy is the most important thing in a good relationship, making each other laugh. Um, so I thought, oh, I wonder who she is. So, so, so I got talking to her and things just developed from there. Sarah means the world to me really. She's absolutely like me in every possible way. He's like, just like me, only I'm less eccentric. <laughs> no. Whoever chooses the vodka will rule the family. The one who chooses the water has to obey the other forever. Thinking about it, is there, is there any need to do this? <laughs> they, they want to do it, so. Um, so okay, we're going, to, we're going to ignore, by the way, the rest of that Polish tradition, where the bride's mother takes salt and bread uh, and offers it to the bride and asks her to make a choice between the salt and bread and the group. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because, frankly, it's a bit of a risk that one. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold these glasses and ask them to choose which one they would like and then drink the contents. Okay? Straight away. Hold you know. Yeah. Um, for example, uh, Michael dressing up as Superman, jumping off a bench at his parents' house, trying to fly. He was about 15. Forgetting the laws of physics, that what goes up must come down. And down, down, down he came, straight through the bench. When his mother got home, I don't think she knows this, but whoops, uh, Michael blamed it on the cat. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Uh, or, I could mention the time you nearly crashed your mum's car into a dustbin lorry. <laughs> She's also just found out about. So. <laughs> or I could mention the time that you've got your head stuck in some railings with a 
Put that way, mate. On behalf of my wife and I, I'm very sincere, thank you.